And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon and a potentially exciting occasion on the cup front. It's Olympic Marseille and they take on Stade de Reims. Well, thank you, Derek. With being big favourites, complacency can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go through. Can they put the pressure on in the first 20 minutes and hold out and then try and nick the game in the second half? Let's hope it's one for lovers of pure football. Olympic Marseille get things underway. And here's how it looks for Marseille. We think 4-3-3, but maybe with a slight difference. Yeah, very narrow look about the team up front and narrow in midfield. So both fullbacks should be getting extra pay this week because a lot's going to be asked of them going forward and defensively. And he was in the right place to intercept. Chavalera. And a look at the starting lineup for Reims. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And news of a goal in the Nod game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Nod. Eight minutes played, 1 0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Chavalera. He continues to make hay. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Given away. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Lee. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, pace. Just look how fast he runs. Absolute nightmare for defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead Things have got to change on both sides. Well, I want to see this one again, and there it is. I wonder how he gets so much power from that position, but he really does. It's a brilliant, brilliant effort. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Opening goal of the game, then. And news of a goal in the Lyon match. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal for Lyon. 16 minutes played, 1 0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Ball lost. My oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. It's with Chavalera. Claudio Falcao. Beautiful pass. The cross is on. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. Over the touchline for a throw in. And that was a very fine read. Good use of advantage by the referee. 
surely, and turned onto the woodwork. Couldn't keep the ball, Bale. Rafik Alish. Let's go now to Alan McAnally because there's been a goal in the game at the Groupama Stadium. Alan? It's a second goal for Leon. 26 minutes played, 2 0. Many thanks, Alan. Real danger. Good looking sequence. And now passing it through. It's there for him. It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's okay shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, hadn't he? He looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with the yellow card. Fruitful-looking attack. It looks promising. He must finish! Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Now the delivery, simple catch really. And let's join Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a goal in the Rennes game. Alan? It's a goal for Stade Rennes. 31 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. The ball with Saar. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Teammate in support. No worries for the keeper. And let's join Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a goal on the Monaco match, Alan. It's a goal for Monaco. 36 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Good visualisation and execution. A glorious chance. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, here's the replay, he didn't panic, did he? Decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike, really, but it's in the back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? It's going their way, 2-0. Could be an interesting avenue. And a goal kick will be next. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Lee. Yeah, definitely, Derek. He's been below par today, not tested the keeper enough. The team do rely on him as well, and he's not done it today. That's why they're down in this game. Simple. Getting forward. A move of promise on the flank. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. And with that, the first half draws to a close. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, is had a stormer, hasn't he? Scored a goal. Let's hope it's one for lovers of pure football. Olympic Marseille, get things underway.
it is, the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things are... It looks promising. He must finish. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he's scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Good visualisation and execution. A glorious chance. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited.